And in this episode, we head back inside the arena to look at some more vans. We check out some hidden showers. Oh, this is good around here, look at that. My God. And we also look at these cool colored V-dubs, so stay tuned. to West Point Exeter for part two of our van walk around. If you didn't see part one, click the link here, but don't forget to come back and watch this too, because there's more great vans here. The ones outside that caught my interest, I've now come inside to have a quick look around, see what we can see in here. I think this is what they call an A-class, and I have a feeling the door is gonna be locked. Yeah, they want to keep us out of that one. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this one. So we see a lot of these at campsites, these Contiques. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Nice and spacious at the front here. Big diner area. Let's go from the front back. So we have here, shower and toilet with the shower door. Big drawers here, like his, almost like you're finding your kitchen. Decent sized sink, lots of worktop space, and an extra table that pops up there, which is not sure how it goes down. I'll have a look around first and try and figure that out at the end. Microwave, yeah. cupboards with little things to keep them tight. I like the fact they've put a hinged worktop on here. So you've got an extra workspace, but you've still got the, the cooker cover as well. So that's, that's clever. Again, the massive, where's the handle? Massive fridge. With a decent sized freezer at the top. And a fixed bed, which is something that we don't want, but I'm sure it appeals to a lot of people. So I can see the value in it, but just not something that, that we would go for. Nice big skylight that opens up. I kind of like this one, apart from the fixed bed, which isn't for us, but yeah. Lots of good things we're seeing today. Let's see what's next. So this has four berths, but only two seat belts. Take two, because my battery just ran out. Right, this is nice and spacious. As I was saying, I don't know if you heard it, four berth, but only two seat belts. So your friends will have to get a taxi there or a train or something, because they can't come in the motorhome with you, but nice inside. Again, a lot of work surface and a huge, yeah, decent sized sink and drainer. So you've got four rings on here, one electric by the looks of it, and three gas with a oven and grill underneath. This must be a shower or toilet, there we go. 
Oh wow. Oh, this is good around here. Look at that. My God. That was a hidden surprise. I thought the bed was at the end, but. This is quite a nice one. Lots of, lots of covered space. You've got a dressing table. Wow. Up the top. Ah, so you have to open it from the top, which is fine if you're. Well, hang on a second. So there's a freezer up the top. And I guess that must be the fridge, not the freezer. And then down here, storage. It doesn't shut very easily. Yeah, hidden secret at the back there with that bathroom, that's really cool. Loads of storage around the bed. Lighting's nice. Could spend an evening in here, definitely. But I think it's too big. We're looking more smaller motorhome slash van size than proper full-size motorhome like this because this won't get down the country lanes and the waterfalls that we're going to explore so very nice though very nice and someone's trying to steal one of the vans right we've got here the next one which is a baby autograph Quite a big one, really long. Let's step inside. I think it said three, three berth, four belts, or four berth, three belts, can't remember. Big liner area at the front. Decent worktop. Three ring one, three gas one, electric ring again. Uh, massive drawers, soft clothes, soft clothes drawers, which is nice. More work surface space over here. This looks like a big wardrobe. Huge cupboard, which is nice. Uh, big fridge, so freezer. Yep, freezer at the top, which it looks like you can take out if you don't need a freezer, which is a good idea. Microwave. Quite a small bed. Quite a small bed with a bit of an angle here, uh, but still pretty comfy, I reckon. Big shower at the back there and a toilet and sink. So, this is quite a nice one. Another whistle top stop tour away. Motorhome, motorhome here at the West Point Exeter Motorhome and Camper Van Show. So, loads more to come. Let's keep on going. Four belts, three berth. I guess two at the back, one at the front. Fixed beds, which Not really my cup of tea. I think it's a bit of a waste of space. You really need a fixed bed, but lounge bed would be better. Decent sized bathroom, wet room again, I think. Yep, shower. So I guess the, this becomes the shower. And it hooks up there. Freezer, tiny freezer. Very dark in here, can't see much. What have we got under here? Two rings. Two rings, pretty standard. Sink. And swivel chairs into the dinette area. And a big skylight at the top. Not bad. I think if it was a, a lounge bed at the back, it would suit us better. Um, I guess you could put a telly up there. 
if you wanted to, maybe. Yeah, it's nice. Oh no, Teddy's down there, look. Yeah, nice, but I think we'd want to lounge at the back of the house, so. I like it though, it's not bad. And let me interrupt here for a second. If you're liking this video, why not click that thumbs up button? And if you really like the video, head over and subscribe to the channel. And now let's get back to the vans. So this is the eldest encore, full berth, four seats. I guess there's seats under here with seat belts on. Nice little sink that sticks out here. And to work top, three gas, one electric, that's becoming common. Big fridge again, this is pretty standard. This is quite a nice lounge area though, if you've got the television on. Telly on there. Sitting here in the evening. Decent sized bed. I'm not sure if I've seen one very similar to this already, haven't we? So this might be a repeat, but a different cellar. And decent sized bathroom, so. Oh, what's in here? Big wardrobe with a hanging rail. Wire in that stays shut. Okay, that's been stuck in maybe on purpose to stop people locking themselves in the bathroom, maybe. Little catches here. Could do a little bit of a wipe down, but. Not bad. Let's move on to the next one. So this is a Swift Escape 674. Front diner here is where you'd at the table, swivel seats, full berth, four seats. So I guess this comes up and you'd have your two seats here. Seat belt, this would have to move as your two seat belts. And then we have TV bracket up here. Ah, oh, that's just a light, I thought that was a handle. I thought that was a handle, but it's not because behind there must be the shower, toilet. Three ring gas hob, microwave, uh, big storage cupboard, I guess. Oh, that's neat, is that fixed? Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty handy. Shelf there for bits and pieces, sink with its usual cover. This is quite a nice lounge area that converts into a bed as well. With plenty of storage. You're right there. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. I'm just having a nose, I'm getting to That's a good little TV unit, so yeah, pretty good. Very spacious, but quite long this one. I think it's probably too big for us, but on to the next one. Okay, this is one I would have liked to have looked in. I think it's quite similar to 
let's have a look. Ah, uh, see, two berth. So it's no good, but. I like the layout with the dinette at the front and the lounge at the back. Obviously it's been sold so we're not allowed to go in and have a nose unfortunately. But I do like the look of that one. feeling this one is an automatic. Yeah, this is nice. Nice big dinette in the front. Assuming there'll be some seat belts here somewhere. I'll check that on the way out, but I think it was four berth, four, um, four berth, four seats. This is a bed by the looks of it that comes down up here. Nice big skylight. Not much wide top space. Three rings, gas rings by the looks of it. Big bedroom though, massive bedroom with a shower. Kind of in the bedroom. But it does have these doors here that close shut. Huge bed. Oh, we've got a toilet and sink this side. And wardrobes either side of the bed, so. Pretty good. Nice to see, but not, not for us. So this is one that's being hired, but it's pretty neat. Look at that, you've got the bathroom here, and then you go around the side. Into the bedroom at the back. And there is a bed up there as well. This is a clever design. I can't help but think it's probably not the best use of the space, but it's very um assuming there's a door there for the toilet and a curtain there for the toilet. Shower doors. I think we could hire this and see how we get on with it because it's quite a nice design. Southwest Southwest Camper Hire. I'm not sure if we've hired from them before. I don't think we have. I'll have to check. But pretty good. And this is from the same company, just slightly smaller. So this is probably a four berth. The other one was a six, very similar, except at the back, it kind of stops at the bathroom. Whereas the other one had a bedroom behind it as well. Everything else looks pretty similar in terms of the fridge, worktops, cooker. This part of the front looks very similar. The bed looks very similar. First one that I looked at, and underneath that big bed at the back, there's the bed. It's on wheels of some kind. Huge wardrobe, hey, wardrobe, huge garage.
This is obviously a VW Transporter. I'm not going to go into too much detail on these, just most people know what you get with these. Rock and roll bed. Cooker and sink, all your electrics over there and gadgets. Storage up here. Pop top, it feels narrower. It feels narrower than our California. Maybe that's just me. Dash looks nice. Swivel seats, does this one swivel? I'm not sure that it does. No, I don't think that one swivels. I guess they'd probably have it turned around if it did. Big three shelves in that. Good storage. No wardrobe, but I think the wardrobe in the cab is a bit of a waste. Although you can throw duvets and stuff in there. And yeah, it's well insulated, that's for sure. Yeah, so there is a quick tour of a VW transporter. This is very classy. I love the colours on this. It's like a big mint humbug. Yeah, that's cool. Really nice. These are probably the brightest V-dubs I've ever seen. But they look good. I like this wood effect. I'm not sure it's real wood, but it looks good. Yeah, that's clever. So this slides on rails. A lap table. They were a little bit too bright for my liking. I think I've seen most things now. Let's check out over here. So is this the VW Caddy? It's a VW, must be a VW Caddy. I reckon it is. It looks pretty neat with the sink and cooker at the back. So, I misspoke in my recent podcast when I said you wouldn't get a sink and a cooker inside a caddy because clearly you can and I guess this turns into a bed somehow. That is a great use of space. Little pop top so you can stand up. Doors on both sides. How much does one of these go for? Let's have a look. I'm not sure about the colour. Twenty-seven thousand. Second hand, so there's no that. That's pretty good. You can do a lot with a small van these days. Another one. Table in the back, small table. Slide out pods for your cooker. Gas. The awning on the side. Yeah, it's very um very DIY but it's a 
pretty good use of space nonetheless, so hats off to the people that thought of that. And here's another one, very similar to the first one we saw with the cook at the back. This one's got the cook at the front. People really will think of everything. Okay, so that is the end of day one at the West Point Motorhome and Caravan, Motorhome and Campervan show. Kind of as big as I thought, so I'm not sure if I will be back tomorrow. I'm gonna to get to the campground and have a look at all the footage that I've taken, but you can see there is a lot here. But that's enough for today. I'll go to get go to the campground, get set up and see what see what footage I've got. So hopefully be at the campground within an hour and get some work done. Okay, let's hit the road.